I used to get strange reactions when I first started because people didn't know what a food stylist was. So they'd be making joke, you know, oh, you, you style the carrot, like the hair of the carrot tops, you know, and I would go, mm, yeah, kind of. We're basically the makeup artist for the food. So we make the food like stay nice and be at, at, at this optimum on set and we work with photographers or videographers. We're like brother and sister. We're constantly nagging at each other. I'm totally giving her a hard time every time I come. She does the same thing back. Um, that's great. The nice thing about working with Katrina is that we, uh, I really think our styles complement each other. And not only that, but we kind of, I mean, everybody always says they, they know what the other one's thinking. I don't really know what the other one's thinking, but she always knows what my sensibility is when it comes to the pictures. And I always know what her sensibility is when it comes to the styling. So we're usually always on the same page. Well, I, just, I just put it for color, but I think like everything's yeah. like, that's brown, it's a little too red. Yeah, like I I think what people are very intrigued with the tools that I use, so that's always a surprise. They like to see the tweezers, I have like little dental things, and sometimes it's like a lot of like, you know, like hairdresser like tools or electrician tools, and, and they like to see the blowtorch. And, but most of the time they're like, what's that in the bottle? I go, it's water, oh. They wanted it to be like something because there was like in the 70s and 80s, it's like, oh, you're not using motor oil for, you know, for maple syrup and you're not shellacking this and, and doing that. And now like the food is like so much more natural and yummy and having little crumbs and, um, you know, like spillage that you can use what's in the food to make it happen. When you're on big, big production, it's like everything is very organized everybody and there's like there's union so like i would be on shoots where i had to hand my food my baby to somebody and then i couldn't be on set and then i would see everything happening on a video and i'm not saying like it was awful and people do it as awful like you have to i don't have the personality to do that and it's really intense like for still photography like if you have a pie shoot you might have to make 10 pies if you're in a movie, you have to make like 50 pies because people are eating them and you're like just cranking it. So it's a different mindset. So I do prepare some food in advance. Typically it's like eight shots a day. So if I have to make like three cakes, like there's not enough of eight hours. To do it or if the client said I want like the the pie to look like it's fresh out of the oven so maybe I'll make if possible I'll make the filling ahead of time I'll make my dough ahead of time and then roll everything in the studio and then bake it and then it's like all steamy sometimes what happens you have clients that you know with budgets you do more, then you do less, they reuse the imagery, or then they try somebody else. That's the other thing. When you're a food stylist, you can't have a big ego. <laughs> I mean, it, it's good to have an ego, but you can't take things personally. If somebody doesn't call you for a job, it doesn't mean you're a bad person. Sometimes they just want to try. It's just like I, I try to view, view it as it's just the right fit because it's a big world and there's enough work for everybody. I've talked to stylists that feel like what I'm doing is stressful. Like this, I would stress so much about finding the right banana or the right tomatoes. But for me, I just, I love the whole thing. My name is Katrine Kelty and I'm a food stylist.